Edge, I'd like to take, well, thanks to African Investor for including MCC in the event. We appreciate it. Um, just a minute on MCC because we're not that widely known and often misunderstand where people think they know us. Um, we're an independent government agency founded in 2004 with a very large focus on establishing a more conducive environment for private, set, private sector led economic growth, including in agriculture but other areas. We provide very large grants, we call compacts, to a limited number of developing countries, most of whom are in Africa. I think we have maybe 24, 25 compacts either active or under negotiation now. Average grants since we were, average compacts since we were formed in 2004, about $340 million per country. Uh, pure grant, they're not, not even a soft eye to credit or anything like that. And they last five years very strictly, no, no extensions. Uh, countries have to earn eligibility through better performance relative to peer countries in three areas, economic freedom, investing in people, and ruling justly. And it's all determined through indicators as objective as we can find that are produced by the World Bank, IMF, UN, WHO, and others. Uh, and then once a country is qualified, uh, we go through with the country leading the process an economic constraints analysis. And right at the beginning of that engagement, uh, we initiate what we call an investment opportunity analysis, and that is very focused on communicating with the private sector locally and those private sector companies from abroad that are interested in or involved already uh, in those countries. We try and engage at the beginning as broadly as possible, both to look for areas of common interest, but also to get a better feeling for uh, the business environment in any country beyond just mere statistics. Um, we work through the embassies, Department of Commerce, Chambers of Commerce, and other private sources to find out who is involved, and we're always looking forward for more engagement right from the beginning with all of our countries. Uh, a lot of our funds go uh, towards physical infrastructure projects, um, things that, though, provide a conducive environment for the private sector. So we have very much a physical infrastructure focus, but also a policy focus within the programs uh, supporting governments as they try and make more conducive environments uh, to long-term investment. So we will get involved in, you know, softer elements, whether it's a credit bureau or a commercial court. Um, but we, we very much, right from the beginning, are engaging with businesses locally and internationally. Uh, on the agriculture side, the kind of defining um, uh, guidance that we have, we always have an ABC, the A for adequate skills and knowledge, that's locally. Backbone infrastructure, lots of our investment in the agricultural area tend to be in farm to market roads or it can be uh, large irrigation projects. Uh, and also the uh, third part, the C, conducive policy environment. Certainly reiterating what my colleagues on this panel uh, and previous ones have, have said about the, uh, the environment for doing business in the countries that we're working. That conducive policy environment could be, uh, I mean, land issues land tenure, land rights, as have been raised a number of times mm -hmm. before this morning, mm -hmm. uh, but all at the micro level, land, but at more macro level, again, uh, activities to support uh, anti-corruption activities and the disciplines that are already evolving in the countries where we are, we're working. And in fact, it's, it's one, of the, one of the primary um, uh, defining factors of what countries are allowed to even be eligible for MCC funds is uh, being ab above the median compared to peer countries, meaning either low income or low, lower middle income uh, on the World Bank uh, Brookings uh, anti-corruption indicator. Um, we, as I said, reiterating private yeah. sector engagement from the beginning, we're, we're looking to hear from uh, agricultural and other private sector investors. Uh, there are mechanisms we're evolving to try and find small joint funding facilities for uh, small projects uh, within or adjacent to the projects. And we also very much want to know what are those things that we, as a uh, funder, an investor, we very consciously refer to our funds as investments, um, what are those things that we can best do on the public good side uh, to better enable more successful long-term private investments? Thank you, Stuart. At this point. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Doing business in Africa. You can't afford to be without Africa Investor.